everyone, this is Marcy from The Scribbled Word and I thought it would be fun to do a little craft with me video today and the project I had in mind was using pressed pennies um, and I'm sure that most of you are familiar with these or have seen them before or may even have some um, that you've gotten on different trips for a souvenir and so here I'm showing you some of the supplies that we'll be using to do this craft. Um, so if this is something that you have collected, I think that you might be interested in this idea as a way of using and displaying these pennies. Um, I, I have enjoyed getting these on and off. I'm kind of a souvenir person. I like to have something that I bring home to remember the trip that I've taken and the nice thing about these pennies is that they are inexpensive and stamped right on there is an image that reminds you of where, you, where you've where you gone and um, so here I have a penny that I that I got at the Creation Museum and so I'm showing you the place where I'm going to punch a hole through this penny. So on your penny generally there'll be a side that has um, kind of a little lip and that tends to be towards the top of the image if the image is vertical. If it's horizontal like this one then it doesn't matter as much but I just tried to put them all near the same spot. So what I'm using here is an awl which is just basically a tool that has a pointed end on them. You can you can purchase these at a hardware store, craft stores can sell them, you can even get them at Walmart. So I've punched a hole through the penny with my awl and then um, I am hammering the back side of it here because it is a little bit sharp so once you've punched the hole then you'll want to hammer the back side to smooth that side so that it doesn't poke out too much. And I just used an upholstery hammer, but you could of course use any hammer. And here I'm showing you, these are some jump rings that I purchased. Um, and I'm going to be using one of these to put through the hole of my penny. So here I'm showing you a couple of needle-nosed pliers that I'll be using. And um, so what I do is I will hold one end of the jump ring with one of my pliers and then I use the other um, pliers to pull open the jump ring. And then here I'm going to be inserting it into my penny. And so what you'll see in a minute is that um, when I hammered the back side of the hole, it, it does tend to close the hole a little bit because it's pushing that metal back down. And so what happened was it made my the hole in my penny um, too small for my jump ring. So in a second here, I'm gonna go ahead and put the awl back into that and hammer it a little bit more to open up that hole again. And this time I'm gonna open it up wider. See, so you see just me hammering it a couple times, but that's just because I cut a lot of the video of my hammering. <laughs> so you will have to do to um, hammer it more than you see me doing here, but um, since it was shaking the camera a lot, I didn't think you needed to see all of that. Um, but I did hammer it back all the way through and I opened the hole a little bit larger and then I also hammered the reverse side to get rid of the sharpness um, on that side. Now you could try um, if you had tools for sanding it, that might be um, another option, but I was just trying to find an easy way using tools that that I have really available and that you um, would likely also have available to you um, so that this isn't something you have to go out and purchase a bunch of things for. Um, so now you can see that I have placed the jump ring through the penny and this is a bracelet that I've already added a few pennies to as you can see but here I'm showing you that you could add this to a safety pin if you wanted to use it and just pin it you know on the edge of a journal or onto 
a backpack or a purse or something like that, you could use a paper clip if you want to put it into a planner or a scrapbook or a journal again. Um, if you're journaling about a particular trip you took and then you could use the penny to just be an added element. Here I have a large safety pin and I thought that on this one you could add several charms. So for example, if you go to Disney World, they have multiple pressed penny um, stations where you can you can get these and it's 51 cents so it's an inexpensive um, souvenir and it's good for for kids if you have your kids with you they can get something like if you go to Epcot they can get something at each one of the countries and it's not expensive and it's a way for them to remember that trip and then um, this would be a fun project to do with your kids I've I've been doing this with with my kids so they get excited about um, doing the press pennies it's something that's fun for them anyways but um, I think it's it's nice to be able to do something with them once you get them home <laughs> otherwise um, they just tend to collect in, in your wallet or in your change purse and then eventually get lost so here I'm showing you after having placed it on my bracelet and I think I think it looks pretty I, I think it'll be fun to wear this um, so here I've placed um, several others, other charms on the bracelet to show you. So this is the spine of one of my kids' journals where they connected their, um, their pennies that they did. And then here's one of my journals where I use the bracelet just to show you how you could use it as a closure for your journal. This is my daughter's keychain where she's collected different charms. And then this is my junk journal. Um, this is a spot where I was talking about an, an outing that we went on and that was the penny that we got from that outing. So if you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.